Hello, my name is Jacob. Hey, and I'm Lucas. And today we're gonna have a taste test of all of the fast food fish sandwiches. I'm so excited to fill my entire body with fish. Fish, the magical food. The more you eat. It could be fake fish, but it could also be real fish, and it could also be a mixture of fake and real fish. Oh yeah, I so hope it's it exciting. smells fishy. We grew up Catholic, so like during Lent, we'd hit these places, like no one's business. First on our list today, out of eight places, is McDonald's filet fish Just a fun fact, this was Munchin in a Kanye West song. Really? It's him and Jay-Z. What you order? Fish filet. This is the description. I really just want to be visual today. Dive into our wild uh. cut filet of fish. This mixed Donald's fish sandwich has fish sourced from mm. sustainably managed fisheries, ah. topped with multi American cheese oh. and creamy McDonald's tartar sauce, and served on a soft mm. steamed bun. They make it sound so good. My mouth is watering. Yeah, I thought it was just gonna be like, oh, we went to the frozen section and just threw some <laughs> shit. But like, they got used sustainable fishery. <laughs> What's a fishery? I wanna go to a fishery. They were two McDonald's, we take the order. Um, can I just have a filet -o fish and then just a cup with water in it, and that's good. Be 426, first one though. Thank you. Remember I watched a YouTuber mukbang and they said this was their favorite item and they would get a double with extra like mayonnaise and stuff. I like those fish sticks that you get at the grocery store that are just mush in a biscuit, so I must like this. Yeah, I feel like that's what the vibe will be. Yep. Thank you. Well, that was seamless. Good. So we have the bag. I didn't ask for a knife. Oh, we just tear with our hands, I guess. That's fine. It'd just be literally so barbaric. The bag contains the box for the filet of fish I love how it comes in a box, not one of those plastic wrappings, you know? Oh, yeah, isn't that like biodegradable? I don't know. <gasps> Look how perfect. That bun is. Poke it. It looks like jiggly cake. Mmm. First impressions? Loving it. This would be the type of person I might marry. Just cookie cutter. Nothing surprising. You know what you're getting <laughs> yourself into with that yeah. image. Oh, god damn. Oh my god. This actually, I'm excited. A plop of cream fell off. I love tato sauce, by the way. Just oh, a little fun dip. fact about me. They loaded it with the cream. It tastes good. I'm not gonna lie. It tastes great. If you look on the inside, I have no idea if it's focused or not, but it looks like an actual fish. Um, I'm not saying it's an actual fish, but they, the the outers at McDonald's made it look like actual fish, which I, which it's I appreciate. It's from the fishery. Damn, so good. This is the first one, so I don't know what I'm gonna grade it. I'm gonna do an A. Not an A plus, not an A minus, just a straight A. On? I might be a little bit more critical, and I'm gonna give it a B just because it was good. It was great, but I feel like it didn't have that extra punch. Just maybe they don't want it to have the extra punch. I don't know if I'm trashy, but if I went to a restaurant in Malibu on the show and they gave me this, I would be impressed. And I think oh, I'm just yeah. viewing it differently because it's at McDonald's, which I don't want to do. It doesn't really taste like fish is the weird thing. Am I making that up? No, I got, I got fish vibes. You didn't? Like, I did, but like, not enough. Mm, you're right. It tastes like fish. There's one more bite bite left, and I know you guys are thinking, like, you guys are gonna waste that. No, we're gonna bring it back home to our mom. Right across the street is a Chick-fil-A, so that's the next one. Oh, I just realized, for list. this video, I want to be like the Simon Cowell. Like, I'm gonna be harsh. I would do that, but I just don't... No, you could no. be more of, like, the Paul Abdul. Like, you need both on a panel of judges. That's true. You found One Direction. But I made straight up downtown. Chick-fil-A is popping at all times. I know, I'm, all, I'm scared. This video isn't about the rise of Chick-fil-A, but can we talk about the rise of Chick-fil-A? Five years ago, no one knew about Chick-fil-A. Yeah, it was nothing. At Chick-fil-A, they call the fish sandwich the fish sandwich. I love how they're keeping it simple. So, I don't know why, but I couldn't find much on the Chick-fil-A fish sandwich. I don't know if it's like, they're trying to hide something, but it's all I mysterious. know is that it's made with cod. Ah. Oh, at least they clarify the fish. Cod is a common name for the ah. domorsal fish genus goddess, belonging in the fish, gotta die. 
Great. We'll just have one fish sandwich. One fish, just normal sandwich? The fish one, yeah. Oh, is there different options for the fish one? We don't have a fish sandwich. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, we thought you did. Oh. No. Well, that was a fail. Yeah, but it literally said they have it at certain restaurants. My partner wants to be like, she's wrong, but I mean, I'm assuming she isn't. Next on the list is Long John Silver's. This is the one Ooh. where I'm most excited because they're known for fish. Yeah, that's like, they own fish. Even though Long John Silver's does gross me out for some reason. Long John Silver's has the classic cod sandwich. It's a North Pacific mm. cod served with pickles and tartar sauce in a mouth-watering oh. sandwich. Oh, that sounds good. I'm prepared to have my mouth waddle. I'm, I'm, I'm already slobbled the F up, but I want to be more slobbled up. At least we're going to try another cod sandwich. This Long John Silver's is by the prison. Oh, uh, perfect. Shit, shit, shit. Whoa! When I was looking up fast food places that have fish sandwiches, a bunch of people said that Captain D's and White Castles have the best fish sandwiches, but we don't have that where we live. What's Captain D's? I have no idea. It's, it must be Captain's dick. It sounds great. You can probably pull into there, though. I think I just do a Yui. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> oh, it's so sad because I'm the McDonald's is right next door and it's way more packed. But we're gonna give Long John Silver some love. I do have to say I don't like how the building looks. It looks very outdated, but I know is it supposed to look rustic? Um, like is that the vibe? Well, I'm guessing they just were like, do we want to go for the rustic vibe or do uh, do we actually want to pay the money to upgrade everyone? And I just like the paint looks so faded. Like it was supposed to be yellow, but now it's just white. But I'm not hating in any shape or form. I will take a picture for you guys just so you guys can see. Can I get the classic cod sa sandwich? And that's it. Thank you. It's so crazy because most of us think as fish as an expensive food, but so far it's been $8. Back when our family was Catholic, like this was the hit place on the Fridays. And I remember loving it. Their popcorn shrimp was good, the hush puppies. I remember liking the hush puppies. I remember always being weirded out by Even it. Even by the popcorn shrimp? I know, always just being like, what? Oh, I, I loved it. Like, I'd be excited. If you're seven years old watching and you like think like, I don't really like fish. Like, maybe when you grow up like me, you will like fish. Now I, I'm down to eat raw fish. I'm trying to think of fish. what I was ever picky about. I think the first thing I was ever picky about was probably sushi. I was like, oh, this is gross. Oh, yeah, I used to be picky, but now I'm just like, I'll eat anything if it's in front of me. And then we talked about taxes for about five minutes. I'm assuming you guys don't care what we're saying about this subject. They're cooking it from fresh, I think. I know, it took a, a while. And I looked inside and it looked pretty clean. So that's good. Can we actually get um a plastic knife too? You All right, thank you. Now I don't need to use my grimy hands to split this sandwich in half. Oh, it smells like fart. You joking? I'm kidding. Uh, put your sleeves up. Mine are already up. Do a little bit of a hand sanny. This one didn't come in a box. We have to rate everything. You can't. Whoa! Only Hot dog vibes? It looks really thick. Also, it took forever for them to make it, so I'm guessing like this was freshly deep fried. It feels so fucking hot. Oh, it smells like actual legit fish that you would get like at a Malibu eatery. Like I might be into <laughs> Lang John Silva's now. It's like, why can we keep bringing up Malibu? Like we live in Nebraska right now. <laughs> I'm just like, this is what they get in Malibu. It's like, you've been once. <laughs> if only we got one of those trays, we could be actual oh. moving Okay, I'm not doing yeah, that was I was hard. stressed out for you. Okay, cute and fun. Take a good look at that. Um, this one looks like actual fish. Yeah, this one is le It's more legit than McDonald's. And let's see what toppings they have. Just okay, a pickle or two, some tartar sauce. I'm guessing. Okay, a Fruit Loop. Like the bun is cold, but um, I guess I'm fine with it. Um, should I say it or wait? Let's take one more bite. Uh -huh. Did you notice the fish being a little bit chewy? No, I didn't. The fish is more high quality than the fish filet, but I still kind of like the fish filet better. Cause the bun and the sauce isn't living up to the fish filet. Yeah, just like you said, it tastes way more like real. Like if this, yeah. if any fast food place is gonna be real, it's this. Even like the inside, how it actually falls apart like fish. Yeah. But like the McDonald's one wasn't all this kind of one thing. It was good, but it did, it, it, yeah. <gasps> Just dropped it in my car. I'm so sorry. Fish went down the seat. Your brand new car. Did it fall in the crack? No, it didn't. That'd what? be so gross if fish rots in the effing crack. I was expecting way more flavor is basically what I want to yeah. say. Yeah. 
Um, since I am the Simon Cowell of this judging panel, I'm gonna give it a C. It didn't wow me. This is their thing. 365 days a year, they're all about fish, 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 seafood, water, lakes, and they didn't hit it. Not lakes, oceans. It's just like they didn't pound it. I'm still Paula Abdul, but... <laughs> even Paula Abdul had critiques. I'm, I'm gonna have to rate it a C. No, I'm, I'm not even joking to be funny, it's a D. It's a D for me. It's okay. an actual D. Coming for Simon Cowell's throat. I know, I have a backbone. Yeah, like, I, I would never get it again. So it might be an F. What, we have to pick one. I'm I'm going down to a D because of your comments. But I kind of bumped my tongue. And, and I know I'm an <laughs> impatient bitch, but like, that is my fault, but at the same time, it's not. Yeah. Let's move on, I can't keep talking about it. Oh, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse. I know, it's just like, okay, they get it. They're gonna change their whole business model after watching this and they understand. They understand how Lucas and Jacob feel. Next up, we have Bogle King. Okay. Bogle King sells the big fish sandwich. Ooh, big. Oh, premium big fish sandwiches. 100% uh. white Alaskan pollock, breaded with crispy panko breading, and topped with sweet mm. taro sauce, tangy pickles, all on top of a toasted brioche style uh. bun. Okay, that sounds good. We're eating Pollock? Yeah, so I googled what Alaskan Pollock is, and it's it's an Alaskan Pollock or a walleye Pollock. is a marine fish species of the cod genus and family god eye. It's a sibling of the cod. You a sibling? Oh, okay. If you put Alaska over the mainland of the U.S., it would cover, like, one-third of it. You're joking. Yeah, I thought it was a lie too. Wait, so why aren't maps accurate then? I remember learning in class that maps are actually supposed to be accurate by like, by like distance. Well, I think if you actually did put it over the mainland, it would be from the map. I'm gonna actually cut it out when I get home. I, I was confused because I don't know if my school was just a dumbass, but they always told us Texas and California were the biggest states. It's like, you just leave out Alaska? Because it's not attached physically. Just so people don't think we're dumb, I'm going to prove it to you what we mean. So here's a map of the United States. And then there's Alaska in the corner. Alaska looks so small compared to Texas. And how would that cover most of the United States? So that's why we are confused. If you are confused. Sorry about all this confusion. I'm done. I'm was gonna flip off the camera, but I held it in. I have high hopes for Burger King. I don't. Are we gonna OD on fish? That's the scary thing. I have heard that eating too much fish, like you get too many fatty acids or whatever. Or omega 3s. Or mercury, oh, yeah. I mean. We might overdose on mercury. That'd be kinda cute. It's not cute, it's actually serious. Feel free to get chicken fingers, I know you love them. <laughs> I'll stick to the fish. Then we started talking about like, like um, how we think and stuff like that, kind of spiritual vibes. So I'm assuming you guys don't care about this either. But if you guys do care, we, um, there's nothing. Yeah, okay, that's all. Okay, these people in front of us, what are they ordering? I'm not trying to judge an A shape or form, but what are they ordering? It's taken for us. It's took and taken for We went in the wrong lane. Sometimes when you go to these restaurants and they have two lanes, you go into but the wrong lane. But why has that truck been there for the last 10 minutes? Did their intercom system break down? Is this the end of the world? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'd suck having the, your last moments in a Burger King drive through <laughs> I know. It's a elderly man in front of us, assuming with his elder wife. I mean, I love elders, but this is out of hand. When I was like, you need to stop eating. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe they're ordering for like grandkids. Should I ram them or honk? <laughs> ram them. <laughs> Welcome to Burger King. Sorry about the wait. How can I help you? Can I just get a big fish sandwich on its own? Just the one by itself? We yep. Have the two for five. Um, no, I'll just get one. All right. And did you want cheese or bacon added to that today? No, we're good. All right. 513 at the window, please. Thank you. Thank you. I have okay. so much to talk about. First of all, she gave us a deal. Second of all, who the absolute F would add bacon to a fish sandwich. I know. That's disgusting. Shut your mouth, saw. So. Oh, you see not... that steam going on the Bogle King? I know. They're making a factory up in this bitch. They're smoking up in there. <laughs> <laughs> you are the only one above a love. Hi, Hi. 13. All right. We just were looking inside and everyone was super stressed because the cow weedle was down. I about started to cry. It's on us. Oh my oh gosh, thank, thank you. you. Can I have some silverware too, please? Can I have silverware, please? Yeah, absolutely. All right. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. You have a wonderful day. You too. Oh my Whoa. God. Okay. VIP treatment. I don't know if it's because like they knew we were like famous or something, but <laughs> they gave it to us for free. Before we even eat it, I'm giving them bonus points because it looks stressful, but everyone was so happy. Did you hear that girl's tone of voice? She was smiling. Yeah, she was like, hey. The Burger King, again, it came in a... Um, this, not a Oh, okay, cute. Sorry, I knew, I knew, oh, I know. Oh, lettuce fell in between the seats. I couldn't focus on what I was saying. It's like, okay. I could tell you were stressed. Lettuce Sorry. fell. So I'll get ants. What should we do? It's okay. Oh, more lettuce. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, shit. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's so annoying. <laughs> okay, this looks good. Oh, it's like a fish fillet, but greasier. Yeah, and it looks more southern. <laughs> That's my idea. <laughs> Let's cut this itch, itch up. I'm cutting it. Oh, I can tell it has cream. <laughs> okay, look at those little shreds of fish. Virgin eats a sandwich for the first time. <laughs> okay, ready to go? Mm -hmm. Okay. You kind of need a dry weight. Oh, okay. and it's free. Nothing is better than a free sandwich. <laughs> it slaps. I'm throbbing. I know it, deep throat it. <laughs> Ew. Wow. Dude. Dude, come here. <laughs> Vintage memes. <laughs> if you know, you know. I'm gonna say, this is my favorite so far. It's I don't give a so fuck. good. Oh my god. I love this. They don't call it a big fish sandwich for nothing. Wow. I could tell the fish that they gutted to make that was giant. Oh, yes. Pollock is great. Alaskan Pollock, to be exact. It's I'm, the first A for me. I gave the McDonald's one an A. To if you don't remember, and I'm gonna give this one an A plus. Oh, damn. Yeah, like they're gonna get that 4.0 GPA. Damn. Come How on. I'm just like relish in this moment. I know, it's just like, to all these other bitches, I'm like, step it up. I feel like complete shit about myself after eating this, because it's like, this big fish sandwich I'll, has so much on me that and it's And I'll disgusting. never be like it. I'll never get to that level. As much as I try, I'll never be anything. Oh my. <sighs> Sorry about away. getting lettuce everywhere. Get it away. Sorry about getting lettuce. Yeah, the though. whole center console's greasy, but it's fine. It's okay, it's just a material item. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's next? Next up on the list of fish review with Lucas and Jacob is... Oh, this one's a big one. Popeyes. Popeyes sells the Cajun flounder sandwich. So it's gonna be spicy, I'm pretty Flounder. sure. Flounder. Flounder is a group of flatfish species. They are demersal fish ah. found on the bottom of oceans around the world. So like they deep dove. These are bottom feeders. Our, our new flounder ah. fish fillet served on a warm and toasted mm. buttery. <coughs> Sorry, I had to bolt. Brioche bun with crisp barrel cured mm. pickles and tartar sauce. Oh, I'm not joking. They're gonna hit it out of the park. When Popeyes does something, they do it. Some of the blogs I got didn't say it was good, but I'm gonna, I wanna delete that from my oh mind. Oh my God. I love it so that it's a flounder fish. Remember flounder from the Little Mermaid? We're gonna eat that bitch. That'd be so cool if mermaids are real and you could eat them. You'd eat them? Yeah. We were having so much fun till we had to turn off the music because of copyright. I am mad because we were jamming out. I know. The Such pitfall. good bops, you know? <laughs> Enrique Iglesias. Come on. Keep it going. <laughs> okay, what's that even? It sounds like gross. <laughs> or don't get mad at me for someone's, something someone else did to you in the past. I'm not them. <laughs> what is so enlightened? Um, can I just have the fish sandwich? Yeah. All right, total will be 490 at the window. All right, thank you. How are we doing today? Good, how are you? Trying to learn this stuff, figure it out. They're trying to keep them, they're getting pretty good so far. <laughs> oh, it's your first day? No, no, second one here. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, his second day on the job. He was thriving, giving it his all. He was like, being overly nice. Like, I know. Okay. You guys want to hang out? And it's like, don't have to go that far. <laughs> you made that one. <laughs> <laughs> they saw the whole interaction trying to add stuff to it. <laughs> okay, stop with the beeping. You know, it adds ambiance. Oh, I forgot to ask for effing silverware. Effing remind me next time. Oh 
Oh my gosh. This is the Popeyes bag. I, I do love the packaging. Oh, that's cute. I know. They I have like, designs. Yeah, and they make it look so like, you know, just, I feel like I'm at home. It's cute. Mom, are you in there? I think it's focused by now. Um, I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> Annoying eyes. <laughs> I'm not kidding, this looks good. This we'll might, we don't have might, to cut it. Let's just take a bite each. This might be my other favorite. Ooh, can I have the first bite? Yeah. Oh, that's not juicy. Oh, there's a string or something that was attached to your mouth to the sandwich. Stop! <laughs> that's good. This is fucking good. <laughs> I might be joking. Damn! Why were the people on the blog saying this is like shit? You know, it tastes like shit. It tastes like like a princess's shit. This is what I'm talking I about. I do have to have another bite. This is what I'm talking about elevation. <laughs> <laughs> like, when people say they want to level up, this is what I mean. What? Oh, look at this pickle. It's so thick. Ah! <laughs> oh, God. I will. It's not my go. A plus. I'm giving it an A plus because I know I get Burger King an A. Bitch, what was I thinking? This is an A+. Plus. Nothing's gonna beat it, I don't think. And I love how it's a little bit spicy. I know it has all these different flavors, and I don't know, and it just looked more premium. It's the same price range, but it looks way more premium, you have to admit. Yeah, I'm giving it an A+, plus again. It's worthy of A++ plus plus status. They did it. Wow. Wow. Thank the Lord for this. Tree. Whoa. Okay, should we go on to the next one? Ah! <laughs> that's my new thing. Be the yelling boy? <laughs> well, I'm bringing that back. Bring back to the Fred days. <laughs> Maybe I don't know what to say in a video. Ah! <laughs> no, but you could use that response for anything. Because I know. Mad, happy. Yeah, because you'd be doing a video watching a TLC show. Nothing happens. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> I'm going to start doing that. People love screens. <laughs> okay, pee break. Wait, should we film what's going to be? I want to. Am I wrong? Okay, um, the links will be below to watch both of us pee separately on um, some accented website. That oh yeah, only piss. Link. Next up on the list is Culver's. We're in the drive-thru right now. Is Culver's nationwide? Yeah, I don't know. So if you're watching this and you live in like California, you might not know what it is because it might just be like a Midwest thing. Shit, I'm at the window. Jake, oh, what, do I order? what is it called? Um, Hurry. Oh, it's called the North Atlantic Cod Filet Sandwich. Okay. Um, can I have the North Atlantic Cod Sandwich? 578, go ahead and pull around, please. Thank you. This is like a dollar more than the others. Okay, I'm expecting a dollar more of flavor. Yeah, I'm expecting it to like be caught today and they cut it open today. But if you've never been to Culver's, their thing is like they make everything fresh. So you always have to pull forward most of the, I don't think you ever get it at the window. Something else is that they sell butter burgers. Oh. So like, if you want to get buttered up, come here. Oh, thank you. Two dollars off any regular value basket and a free regular concrete mixer with porches. Okay, way to butter us up with your butter burgers. Oh my gosh, I, I feel, I feel like today we're being crushed on. I know. I Why is every you? fast food place trying to get with us? It's like we don't want to have sex with you. I know, and it's like I'm not taken, but like chances are. I'm not gonna do anything sexual with you. The most I'm gonna do is flick or something, but nothing more than that. Flick something? This one's really descriptive. D d d descriptive. Cut in the icy North ah. Atlantic. Our fish is hand cut, ah. hand bottle, bottled, and cooked to order. Topped with a mm. Cobos family recipe tartar sauce featuring olives, ah. capers, ah. and sweet relish. Crisp lettuce. <laughs> And whisk cut the mm. cheddar, soften a lightly buttered toasted hoagie roll. Ah! That was a good description. I like how Fast. it's a flex that they use their hands, hand cut, like opposed to a machine. <laughs> oh yeah. But um, I'm excited. And it says it was caught in the icy Atlantic. And not just North like Atlantic. lettuce, but crispy lettuce. I don't know what capos are. What are capos? I oh, don't know. Wait, capos <laughs> is a plant. Oh shit, is it us? I don't know what it is. Sorry, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> Remember to keep in mind while eating this that like they charged a full ass extra dollar. I just feel like fancy because I know it's like a whole dollar more. So this one came in a box. Again. Oh, th that's the only one since McDonald's. Yeah, so like they're trying to stop their grind up, which I get. That's big. 
But it has shredded cheese. It has shredded cheese. Oh. Look at that piece of fish. That's what you'd actually get in Malibu. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I was no. gonna say the same exact thing. Like, I've been to one restaurant yeah. in Malibu. Gladstone was like on this. the ocean. Mom, yeah. I swear, this is like legit fish and chips vibes. Like, just take a look at the little note. So we meet again. Uh, okay. I want to meet this person again after this. You can take the first bite. I oh, I'm... look at that hunk of cream. <sighs> oh, hot! Wow. Oh, look. it just literally shit. <laughs> is it so effing hot? It kind of burnt my tongue a little bit. I'm gonna wait. Go on with it. It's cooled down now. <laughs> In 30 seconds, <laughs> I'm just gonna take a bite. So I have to give a reasoning why I'm waiting at this. This is different than Long John Silver's. They put so much tartar sauce on, they, you could totally put effort in. Mm -hmm. The it little tastes, cheese vibe. Yeah, it tasted like it was some like a fancy restaurant. I'm waiting at an A minus because I can totally put effort in. Was it as tasty as McDonald's? No, but was the aesthetic and genuineness there? Yes. I gave McDonald's a B, right? Yeah. I'm gonna give this a B minus. It's one little tiny step below a filet -O fish but it is good. It's premium. You give them that extra 60 cents and they step it up. They give you your money's worth. It wasn't the same thing. I, I, I don't think I'd get it again. It's the thing that Yeah, I'm I feel say. like it's like that girl you date in high school. Everyone says you guys are gonna be together forever. Your family loves her. Hell, you even love her. But at the end of the day, you know you're not gonna be together because she's got everything, but she doesn't have the X factor. Yeah. I was pretending we were straight in that situation. Oh yeah, I didn't it's date like, a girl in high school. Um, sorry, I have to rank it again. I'm giving it a B. It's a B because I'm, yeah, that's my final ranking. I'm done. Next up, we have Dairy Queen, which is an ice cream place. You might know of it. They have a fish sandwich. This is the last one. This is the second to last. Dairy Queen sells the wild Alaskan fish sandwich. So it's the same as Culver's. Imagine this. You wake up at the crack of dawn, grab your fishing pole, and tackle ah. box from the shed, and head to your favorite fishing hole. You spend the morning absorbing the peaceful mm. tran tranquility of the surroundings as the sun floats oh. up over the tree line. You cast and reel, cast oh. and reel, cast and reel, but get no bites. That's okay. Fishing isn't really isn't about catching fish for you. It's about reconnecting. Mm with nature and reconnecting with yourself. Keep oh, in mind, God. that was only half of what they were saying. I'm not gonna read the This is the for rest. Dairy Queen? Yeah, I'm not gonna read I the I never they went so hard with the descriptions. I know, if I read that description before any item I ate at Dairy Queen, I would love it 10 times more. We loved Burger King, but can Dairy Queen ring the bell of the queens in the car seat? I know, this will prove it for misto misogynistic. Do we like the goals or the guys? Bars? Yeah, knowing that a queen made it, like I do love I don't like it as much. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Honk, they're going too slow. Should I? Yeah. <laughs> Insert the sound effect. You guys probably believed us. Mm. Um, can I have the wild Alaskan fish sandwich? I'm just the sandwich. Okay, your total's gonna be 535 at the window. Thank you. 535. It's on the pricey side again. Okay, this is premium. I'm expecting a premium experience now. Okay, you oh. just you just raise the bar. <laughs> I love my G school. For some reason, I do have a prediction that, like, out of all the restaurants we've gone to so far, this will be the least friendly. I'm just getting that energy. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I don't like I don't picture energy. mean at all. I just picture, like, sorry, but, like... We aren't here to make you happy. Yeah, like, I'm not even... I'm not gonna try to make this some amazing experience. I know you're here for the food. You aren't here to make a friend. Hello? Thank you. All right, see ya. Have a good day. You too. See, I was actually right. Like, he was nice and everything, but it was more just the vibe of, like, I'm not gonna ask, go out on this, pretend like we're best friends, you know? Yeah, it's kind of like, oh, I'm down to help, but yeah, don't even like, talk to me about anything. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, we don't know each other. <laughs> That's why you want to pretend we do. It comes in the iconic DQ bag. Okay. They put a few napkins at the bottom, and here's the Sammy. It comes in a wrap. Okay. <sighs> it okay. looks very... Chicken. -y. You know how chicken it looks does. like that? It does. It looks very formed, if that makes sense. The bun is shiny, just how we like it. And yeah. Let's just lift it up. We haven't done this yet. It's not tato sauce, it's mayo. Only one pickle, too. Where even is the pickle? One there. Oh, wait, there isn't even I, a pickle. Okay. I, it was $5, but... We, did, we paid an extra dollar for... 
Nothing, Moe? I just won't say anything. I don't want to start a fight with them. Ah! Do you grab my email with a knife and fork this time? Do it. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Should we go back and yell? <laughs> Why didn't you put it in the freezer? This one is out of the box. I do have to say, it's not like any of the others, which could be a good thing, but also could be a really bad thing. Uh, I'm gonna say C. Not even copying, going with the flow or whatever. I'm saying a C too, because it was good, but it wasn't anything exciting, but it's a safe option. Like if it's dinner time and I really wanted fish and like I was at Dairy Queen for some reason, like I would get this, I guess. What disappointed me was that at Culver's you paid a dollar extra, but you got a dollar extra of quality. This I feel like is just like all the other four in the four range. Nothing was added. It's nothing special, not even a pickle. The taste was average and the experience overall was mediocre. Yeah, at least if you're gonna add a dollar to the sandwich, have like a maze on the back. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I can do a maze after I'm done. Like I'm I'm happy, I'm content. They literally hired a writing staff. You need to hire a staff to dig fish and find fish in the Yeah. Ocean. I mean, it's not bad. Don't come after me. Like it's not bad, but it just isn't. It didn't, after eating all those other selections, it just, it's at the bottom of the pack. Let's wrap this one up. If I was to use a baseball analogy, it's like you got to second base, but then you stopped running. When you could have done a home run, but you didn't trust yourself enough to go to that home plate. Last but not least. It's like, oh, we're coming to the end, I'm scared. It's like right across the street, we're going to Wendy's. All right. Wendy's has the wild caught Alaskan fish sandwich. Wild caught Alaskan palak mm. filet, crunchy panko breading topped with creamy dill pickle tartar sauce, pickle, oh. lettuce, and American cheese. Proof that ice mm. fishing is actually worth it. Cute. <laughs> okay. I never knew people said ice fishing wasn't worth it. They're like, ice fishing is worth it. It's like, I don't know, there, there's a movement against well, it. Well, you could die. Can't get too close to a hole or you'll get pregnant. <laughs> Bait. <laughs> um, can I have the fish sandwich? Do you want the combo? No, just the sandwich. Oh my gosh, I love how simple it was. She was just like, let's get down to business. She didn't even say it right, but she was like, I know what the F you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's like, jump to say the technical panko crusted fish sandwich. I know, it's like, like, I'm not trying to be fancy. Well, fucking Wendy's, it costs $3. Put on your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, like, I am starting to feel a little bit gross. But I still am going to give my full energy to this last one. Yeah, like, I feel like going to seven places is kind of overload. Like, yeah. If, if I'm gonna do this again, I'm only gonna take a bite of each one. I'm sorry. 458. All right. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Thank you. Our fingers touched. You guys are dating. Okay, since this is the last one, I'm gonna unbuckle too. I know, I feel like I have to let my belly flap. The Wendy's bag, love her. <gasps> She's so cute. She's I, a little red haired girl. <laughs> I'm still putting it on my bucket list to be her for Halloween one day. Oh, that'd be cute. Oh, this one is, is um, Foil. Don't oh, look wait. in the microwave. How much was this? Foil. I don't even remember. Four fifty-eight. Oh, okay, so it's in the lower tier. So if it was three dollars, I would cut them a bunch of slack. Oh I'd be like, yeah. Even if it's shitty, I get it. Alrighty. Oh, it looks like the Bogo King one. It's big. It wait, has wait. pickles and taro sauce. I do have to say, this is ridiculous. Like, there's so many bags. I know, what? Stop. Even though it's the last sandwich, treat it like it's the first. Okay. I feel some sort of way. It's crunchy. It's very plain. Mm-hmm. The taro sauce is good. It's not the bottom of the pack, it's not the top of the pack. I'm gonna say, it's Dairy Queen level. I'm level. I'm gonna give it a C minus. I'll give it a C plus because I think it's worse than fish fillet. It's not near the bottom of the pack in my opinion, but it's nothing special. Like I'd rather get Dairy Queen than this. Yeah, I don't know. But it is still good. It's not like disgusting. Yeah, it's good. It's not great. It's not the best, but it's not bad. So much fish. So much fish. I, I, we OD'd. We OD'd on fish. I wouldn't be surprised if I went to the doctor and they said there's an aquarium in my stomach. <laughs> my car will never get this sent out. I am sorry. And there's gonna be ants in here from the lettuce that I dropped. It's such a you. fish car now. Even though we gave each of them a grade, now we have to rank them. Oh shit. This is where I got serious. First in line goes. So this is the Let best. Let me see. Oh, we already both know. One, two, three. Popeyes. Popeyes. 
Yeah. Yeah, okay, Popeyes is number one. Which, Jacob said a lot of blogs hated on it. Okay, other restaurants trying to pay for hate reviews on Popeyes, the obvious winner. Number two would be, oh, Burger King. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that magical experience. That was great. That was probably, that was definitely one of the peaks of the day for me. And it was free, I need a, I- Oh, it was free, it was, and the girl was so happy. She was like, hey, none of the other people talked to us like that. Yeah. She was lovely. Number three is McDonald's. Oh yeah, the fish fillet is, it's great. It's definitely in the top of the pack. If this is a talent show reality competition, it would make it to the <laughs> final episode in the final three. We didn't go to Chick-fil-A, but I do think it would have been number one, but we, aren't, we oh, can't yeah, even judge it. Oh yeah, that's a thing that, I wonder if it would have been better than the Popeyes. We'll I never. Like it might have been. We'll never know. Number four. What's left? Wendy's Dairy Queen Colville's and Long John Silver's. I would say, Culver's? Yeah, Culver's, because that was that was really fancy. It is a top option for me if I am gonna eat a fish sandwich yeah. in a fast food place. Number five should go to Dairy Queen. Yeah. And then and number then six Wendy's. goes to Wendy's. And, and Long John Silver's? What? Seven. I still remember, even though it feels like light years ago, I still remember biting into it and the bun was cold and it just wasn't there. The the flavor wasn't there. If Burger King was one of the peaks of my day, Long John Silver's was probably the lowest valley. That was a dark time of the day, you have to admit. Mm. It was dark. Should I repeat them once just in case someone wants to write this down? Yeah, I know someone has their notepad out, so get it ready. Number one goes to Popeyes. Number two goes to Burger King. Number three goes to McDonald's. Number four goes to Culver's. Number five goes to Dairy Queen. Number six goes to Wendy's. Number seven goes to Long John Silver's. That's the end. It is the end of this video. Yeah, I feel like I was on like a school field trip and like, it's the end of the field trip. It's time to go back home and... I feel like I did learn something. Yeah. I did learn something big. Subscribe to Lucas. You have to do that. That's mandatory. Also subscribe, subscribe to Jacob. Yeah, it's and also our mandatory. And our podcast and... um. Thanks for joining around for this hour-long ride. You might not have been here for an hour, but it wasn't long hours. So bye. Goodbye, Z. Bye!